Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will see how to generate a QR code or quick response code by using Spring Boot with the help of Google Zing library. Let's open our GitHub page. I'm showing you at the very beginning so you aware like from where you can find the code which I have developed or developing in this video. Here is our GitHub page link. Let's download the Bookrest API repository. Import this project to the Spring source. Run this project. Open readme md file. Here are the sample URLs. Server started. Let's open get endpoint. See it is working fine and showing 6 records. Ok, now stop server. Let's search for Google Zing. Open official GitHub link. From here you can get more than enough information about the Zing library. Zing is the short form of zebra crossing. Let's search for the Maven dependency of Zing. Open first link. Here is the search result. Open the first one. Here is the Maven dependency. Let's copy. Open POM XML file. We need one more Zing library and that is Java SE. So copy the existing one and change the artifact from core to Java SE. Okay, so these two dependencies are required. Now open method utils class. Here we will create two methods. One will create QR as an image and another will create QR as a byte array. Now let's create the method. So here method name like generate image QR code. Now here we are going to use class and method from Zing library. Create an object for a QR code writer class. QR code writer has encode method which accepts four arguments. Let's add some method parameters like text, width, height and path where image is going to create. So text is nothing but the content which QR code will contain and that is the first parameter for the encode. The second parameter is the barcode format and here we are passing the QR code. The third and fourth parameters are width and height. This method is throwing exception so let's handle. And this encode method is returning the bit matrix. Ok, now we have to write a QR code to image. So let's use matrix to image writer class and that class is having one method called write to path. Ok, so here the first parameter is the bit matrix. The second parameter is the image extension and that I am using PNG here. The third parameter is the path but direct string we cannot use so we need to convert that path to the path object. And this also through the exception and that is IO exception so let's handle it. Ok, so that's it. This method is enough to create an image QR code. See, hardly 4-5 line of code and now we have the QR code in the form of image. That is the beauty of the Google Zing library. Now let's add another method that can create QR code in the form of byte array. So let's say there is an API call from the mobile. So instead of sending the image, we can use the byte array and that will be in the base64 format. So here method name like generate byte QR code. This method code is also almost the same. So let's copy this code. But here we are not storing byte array to path. So remove the path parameter. And instead of write to path, let's use write to stream method. And here third parameter will be the byte array output stream. Instead of using inside method, let's create a separate variable for the output stream. Just keep this output stream outside try so we can return the output stream. Not directly, we cannot return. So after output stream, let's call the two byte array method. Here for write to stream method, need the fourth parameter also, and that is matrix to image config. So create an object for the matrix to image config and pass on and off color. Like here I am passing black and white. You can choose any color. Instead of using config object directly, declare outside. And now both methods implemented. Let's create a folder for QR code inside the resources folder. Now let's create two endpoints for generate QR code as image and byte array. So open book resource IMPL class. Here first declare the file path for QR codes folder. Now let's copy find by ID method and do some required modification. See method code almost same and we are not going to override this method. So remove override and add get mapping and path variable. Now call method utils generate image QR code method. And here pass required parameters and for text I am passing the cover photo URL. You can pass anything and that's it. Let's run the server. Server started. Let's first test image QR code is generating or not. Let's refresh this. 
check find by id and point is working or not see it's working okay now let's call generate image qr code api endpoint see even this one also working let's check qr codes folder the image created or not okay something created let's check see image created let's open this image see qr code image generated let's scan this qr code and see what it is keeping see it is working and keeping the cover page url okay so image qr code is working fine now copy this method and let's call generate byte qr code method as it is creating a byte array so let's add one parameter in the book class here i'm creating barcode as a parameter actually name should be like byte array or base64 code as generate byte qr code method is returning byte array so set the value to the barcode okay that's it change this from string to byte array server started so before calling generate byte qr code let's refresh this endpoint now let's call generate byte qr code api endpoint see it is working and in response it is including byte array let's check this byte array is correct or not so let's search for the byte code to image open any two links let's paste copy to base64 code see qr code generated let's scan this qr code see it is working and opening the cover page so both the approaches are working perfectly fine let's quickly review this code okay so that's it for this video i hope you learned something from this video soon we'll come up with new concept and a new video till the time please like subscribe and press the bell icon and thanks for watching